Welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful day here in Western Pennsylvania. The sun's shining, the wind's blowing, it's helping dry things up. Uh, yesterday morning, I took the uh, dump trailer, went and got a load of number three rock, and then when I got back, I moved the landscape trailer out of the way. And what I wanna do here is clean this area up right here. I got these nice big pallets here, I need to move them. Got a deer feeder, got some pipe laying around. And then we're gonna mow this area up in here and then I'll skin this sod off with the uh, MX5400, put some of that big rock down, then some 2B limestone, and make a nice parking spot for my two trailers. And I may even move all my firewood baskets. I might take them from over there and put them over here next to the tree line just to kind of get them out of the way, because those ones won't be leaving until this fall uh, to you know customers that live nearby. But I think that's the plan. It should work out all right. I know there's more rain coming this afternoon but hopefully I'll get all this done before that happens. Oh, and if you saw the last video, we uh, stained the uh, woodshed with that Ready Seal stain and the Graco sprayer. It worked really well, but I did run out of stain. I have more coming. It should be here tomorrow or the next day, and I'll get the uh, back wall finished up on that. Then I can put the metal roof on and be done, finally.
What do you think? Okay. I like it. You're right about the, uh, it's like the Swiss Army knife. Yeah. If you compare it to uh, kitchen appliances, it's like the um, famous, the super duper ninja. I know. It juices, mixes cookies. We were going to, uh, I'm going to be using this to put a French drain in. You know, normally we won't be mowing with the uh, backhoe on and everything, but uh, right. I'm going to be using that maybe even this weekend. But uh, yeah, pretty nice, huh? It is. It is very nice. It's, I'm learning, so I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah, and slow and steady. Actually, yeah. I moved the seat up, got it adjusted. I prefer to drive a car and a tractor and anything else as though I'm a NASCAR driver. I want to be... Up right on the wheel. Right on top of the pedals. Yeah. I don't want to extend. That's how I like to drive stuff. No. More laid back. If you ever buy me a Mustang or a Corvette, I'll be the one like right on top of the pedals. <laughs> I like it. Very nice. It's, uh, I was telling them earlier, got rained out yesterday, rained hard last night, but this wind and sun dries everything up pretty quick. Yeah. But we are supposed to get more storms tonight, I think. Right. And um, we're experiencing some humidity, so you will get to witness the Melissa Morgan Afro. It's like a Chia Pet. It's just the hair, it'll just grow. What's next? I'm going to uh, clean this up, you know, skin a little bit of that topsoil off. There's not much here. Put some rock in there, make a nice parking spot. Now, what will you use to do that? I'll use the big one. Okay. Yeah, I have the land plane on there. and The uh, land plane, okay. I have that load on the dump trailer right now. We'll get some more of that small rock up at the house. Okay, well, let me know. I. You're ready to mow. Yeah, or I can land plane. You better hurry up. It might rain sooner than later. I know. Like a dark cloud right above us. You're gonna take that up to the house? Yeah. And you know what else? We have a surprise to show you. Someone sent us something that's for the woodshed. Oh yeah, you have to bring that down later on. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really nice. Yeah. All right, I'll be up in a bit once I, uh, I gotta go get the bucket on the big tractor. Okay.
All right, I got the uh, sod stripped off, maybe took about three inches of material out at the most, and I just dumped three tons of this uh, number three limestone. I'm gonna spread this out, go up to the house, and top it with some 2B limestone. A lot of people will mention, I'm sure in the comments, to use a Gia textile underneath this, and it does work fantastic. I've used miles and miles of that stuff over the years in my real job. But down here, it's a little different story. Uh, I'm just trying to stay out of the mud, and if you're using that geotextile, you need to put at least five or six inches of rock on top of it. That way, when you're grading it up, you know, every once in a while, you're not pulling on it and tearing on it and pulling it up through the rock. What I'm going to do here eventually, you know, I mentioned, move these firewood baskets. All this will be stoned down here, and uh, I'll get a couple triaxle loads and do it all at once. And then every once in a while, you know, you just put the land plane on, grade it all up, it's good shale right underneath this topsoil, so I'm going to be just fine. And I don't want to spend the money on, you know, putting six inches of rock over this whole area down here, and I don't need to. It's going to be kind of a dirty area, you know, lots of firewood cutting, saw milling, sawdust, wood chips, all kind of stuff happening down here.
have something we want to show you. Go ahead and show them. Check that out. Woodshed. Isn't Outdoors nice? with the Morgan. Steve Allen sent this to us, and that is beautiful. We it really is. appreciate it. He did a uh, intro a while back okay. showing that being made. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, Steve, you're very talented, and we love it. Thank you very much. Show them where we're going to put it. Yeah, I think um. Yeah. Oh, that'll be perfect. Boy, that is absolutely perfect. Yep. I think we'll put it right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, there you have it. We kind of dodged the rain there for the last hour, but uh, I got this all stoned up. I think it looks really good. What do you think, Melissa? I actually didn't know you were going to do this right now. <laughs> you didn't? No, I thought you meant like in the near future you're going to get some dirt yeah. put down and then some stone. Yeah. I tell you, it uh, it sprinkles, the sun comes out, and then it looks like it's going to storm, and I don't know what it's going to do. Yeah. Well, I believe it's going to storm this evening. Yeah. So. Well, I'm glad to get that done, and uh, we appreciate everybody watching. Yeah. Thanks so much. Click the thumbs up. Give us a like. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And subscribe. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one. Hey. Hey, I'm David. This is RC. We're in Black Creek. Southern Middle Tennessee. RC and I just got done watching another episode of Mike and Melissa of Outdoors with the Morgans. And RC likes those orange tractors. She tells me, she said, let's show them our orange tractor. So I said, okay, we'll, we'll do a video. And here it is. This is our old, old school Kubota, 26 years old, and a little side by side, about eight years old. But if you like these videos, Hit the like button, share, subscribe, tell a friend. Leave a comment. RC likes comments. Do that. But, Hunter, RC says to tell you hi, and you know that's just a kind of orange tractor-loving comfort cow that she is. We'll talk to y'all later. See you.